Haha, -ha. yes. Uh, a few days ago, I had the serious misfortune to uh, have an LDV Maxus van, 2006, dumped on my doorstep. It wouldn't run. These LDV Maxus vans, to be honest with you, I don't like them. They're put together very shabbily. They're, they're rubbish basically, I bloody hate them. But anyway, I, I had the problem to, to try and put this van right. And what it was doing, it was cutting out intermittently uh, over a course of so many weeks until it eventually broke down altogether. Now these are the 2.5 litre common rail diesels in these vans, which are their Chrysler engine. And the same engine, but a 2.8 version, they put in the Chrysler, Chrysler Voyagers. Quite a common engine actually in Chryslers. Uh, so, but anyway, what I found was, this is the fuel rail off this vehicle. And I don't think this is gonna be the cure for everybody's problem, but I believe this to be a very common problem on these engines. Here, on the end of the fuel rail, you've got this little leak off pipe. And the pipe that comes off this goes to your fuel injectors, the leak off pipes, and then goes back to your fuel return hose to back to your tank. Now because this van I had wouldn't even run, if I pulled the pipe off here and I just cranked the engine over, there was fuel coming out of this pipe. Now there should not be any fuel coming out of this pipe because this nut at the very end here, this is your relief valve. If the pressure was to get too much in this fuel rail, it will release it through this pipe back to your fuel tank. But under the normal running situation, fuel should not be coming out of here. Simple as that. And when I was cranking the engine, fuel was coming out. So that said to me, this valve has got weak and was just allowing the fuel to come straight out, relieving the pressure in the rail and not allowing the vehicle to start. So we got a brand spanking new fuel rail at great expense from LDV and uh, bingo, that was it, job done. Uh, so if anybody has got the same problem of their, their Maxus van or, or Chrysler Voyager, poor starting, cutting out intermittently, maybe cut out altogether and taking a dump by the side of the road and doesn't want to go again, just pull that pipe off and crank the engine over. But that's just one possible problem. That was the answer to my problem. But there's more, you see. I'm gonna show you a little bit more now. Here, my God, this is heavy. This is a fuel pump, a high pressure fuel pump. It's not off the LDV Maxis. This is off a Vauxhall Vivaro van. But it's basically the same pump. There's very, very little difference. On this pump, you have this valve here. Electrical connection, two pin connection. This is your fuel metering valve. This is what meters the fuel from this pump to your fuel rail how much fuel is gonna to go to your fuel rail, how much pressure. Because the pump will just pump and it will put too much pressure. If the pump was putting too much pressure into the fuel rail, then the relief valve in the fuel rail will go, if you know what I mean, will release. It will it'll be like bullets of fuel coming out of that little leak off pipe on the fuel rail. Because there'll be far too much pressure going from this pump to the rail for it to run properly. But if this fuel, it's considering this is working fine, I'm going to show you another very common problem with these fuel pumps, which on the Maxus and the Chrysler Voyager and Vauxhall Vivaros, Renault Traffics, all around the 2002 to 2007 mark, or maybe a bit, a bit later on, this little unit on the back, this little pump unit on the back, 
I'm going to remove it because this too is another problem that happens a lot. So if I just get these screws out quickly. And you can change this on a lot of vehicles when it's humps actually in and still in the car. But yeah, when you take this off, there's like a little piece in there that turns and this bit's just falling out. Uh, I don't know if you can see that properly. Oh, let's get it in focus. That's a little bit of metal that's broke. But uh, here, this shaft on the pump has snapped off. And on all these vehicles, these shafts are quite common for, for braking. I don't know what causes it, they just get fatigued and eventually break and then your vehicle will just cut out dead. Apart from these pumps do break up as well when they put metal filings all over through your fuel system. It's better for this to break off, <laughs> believe me. But that's it. Ugh, this is disgusting and I'm getting covered in crap now. But yeah. So if you do own Maxus Voyager, Vivaros are pretty similar as well, the Vivaro vans. Then, uh, yeah, check out this first, make sure there's not fuel coming out. Because it was only a couple of days after I'd fixed this Maxus, it was a Chrysler Voyager that pulled in with exactly the same engine in it, complaining of poor starting, whether it's hot or cold cranking it over and over and it took ages to get started. Obviously I went straight to this first thing I went to, pulled the pipe off, started it up and there was fuel just flowing out again. So I, I believe this is definitely a, uh, a very common problem. Unfortunately to buy, you have, I think you've got to buy the complete fuel rail to get this valve and they're not cheap. Anyway, that's me done. Just one little note, if you do own a, a Maxus fan, as I found out, if, you, if your water pump's leaking, you may as well scrap it, because the amount of time it's gonna, and money it's gonna cost you to have that replaced is absolutely ridiculous. I had to do one, and you, you get like two and a half hours to change the cam belt you get four and a half hours to change the water pump. So once the cam belt's off and the cam belt drives the water pump, you've still got another two hours work in ahead of you, book time, to change the water pump. And the water pump on one of them Maxxis or Chrysler Voyager engines is an absolute nightmare to change. So I can guarantee you, if you have to have one of them done, and you take it to a garage, they are going to charge you big time. Seriously. Sorry for the bad news, folks, but uh, that's it. Right, I'm out of here. Adios.